into our Mediterranean voyage. Mykonos lay before us as we disembarked one of the first tender boat shuttles in. Now this video will be a bit different from my normal videos. While I show you highlights of my exploration of Mykonos, I'm going to tell you about something that happened while I was there. Now Mykonos is different at this time of day. You can almost see what it was like before it became the overcrowded, commercial, jet-setting party stop and before it was almost loved to death. I tried to imagine standing there, almost alone in such a usually busy place, what it was like for those first tour visitors who drank red wine and ouzo with the fishermen while their wives cooked the fresh catch and grilled the octopus for the guests. What was this place before the backpackers, the selfies, the Instagram stars, and the YouTube content creators like me, who mostly just came to record and post and report and leave? Ironically, I was reminded, almost like I was hit with a brick reminded, when I witnessed just about the purest live-in-the-moment moment that I've had recently. Standing by the little beach, as the sun was rising and the dark water started to lighten, I saw a woman several yards away holding something in her hands. She looked at the beach, the sand, the water, what was in her hands, and then with tears in her eyes, she walked to the sea, knelt down, and set free in the sunlit ocean water, ashes from a bag. She put her hands in the ocean water, gentle almost, like touching someone you love, and she finally rose and walked back to the seawall. In the midst of what can sometimes be all of the fake, all of the hype, all of the loud, that morning I saw real, I saw love, and I saw her saying goodbye. And I'm proud of her, alone across the world, probably fulfilling the last wishes of someone she loved on that special beach as the sun rose on the waves. I have a lot of takeaways from this cruise ship stop as I had been contemplating this grinding visitor industry that I am a part of. I kept thinking of the phrase for better or worse. Yes, tourists have loved places like this so much they turn from what they were to almost stages or caricatures of those places. But even with that, if you can listen and can see, there is better almost everywhere you travel if you are open to it. 